President Biden's first press conference was today. The president took the podium after two mass shootings in less than a week left 18 people dead. Today, he renewed a push for gun safety legislation. Kimber Collins is at the digital alert desk. Kimber, the White House administration says if Congress doesn't act, members might take action into their own hands. Yeah, Chairs, Vice President Kamala Harris sent a message to her colleagues on Capitol Hill this week that they need to work together on reform. But whether or not Republicans jump on board with that, we wanted to know your thoughts here on the Gulf Coast. Here's the question we put on Facebook. Do you agree with President Biden urging Congress to tighten gun control? 27% say yes. 69% here on the Gulf Coast say no. Comments raging on both sides of this topic. Cecilia David McCafferty says no. It's not gun control that's needed. It's a change of heart and value. Vicki Williams writes absolutely yes. And Shauna Dunn Hayes says it's not the guns that are killing people, it's the mental health issues. With legislation unlikely, the White House is considering at least three executive actions closing a loophole that allows unlicensed gun dealers to avoid doing background checks, blocking the sale of gun making kits, and providing more funding to fight gun violence. As for that last mass shooting, the one that happened in Colorado, the suspect was in court today. He is facing 10 counts of first degree murder and one charge of attempted murder. If he's found guilty, he could face life in prison. I'll be back with your online headlines at the Digital Alert Desk. I'm Kimber Collins, WKRG News 5.